Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we are working on the Rogue and Arcanist quests. Um, and I... I was thinking a bit, um, because, like, constantly doing all of these, like, class quests, um, like, it, it's, <clears throat> it's taking us a while to get through, like, all of these constantly. Um, so I think once I hit maybe level, you know, 30 in each of these, and we've, like, completed each of these, like, stories... Um, I might, like, stop recording the, the class and job quests. Um, just cause, A, it lets me, like, level, you know, independently of the recordings. Um, you know, I can get on and get, you know, I, I would say I can get, you know, Arcanist up to level 30. But, you know, I, I'm waiting till level 30 how we finish that um but like you know because eventually like i'm gonna want to pick up marauder and dark knight and astrologian and you know machinists and all these um and while all of these are interesting um they're not great um like it they're, they're not bad by any means um but it's just like, like it, you know, like, like look at how many classes there are, um, and like it, it's gonna become a pain. Um, so just because we've been doing them, I think I want to go ahead and, you know, complete up to level thirty, um, because that's where each of these classes end. And they become like a job, like gladiator becomes paladin, puglis becomes monk, things like that. So I want to like finish off those stories. But I think after I finish those like stories um, and then unlock the jobs, I might just stop like recording the, uh, the, the class and job quests. So... Jackie, Jackie appears eager to hunt down the Maelstrom stolen treasures. Been practicing your dance steps, Cosme, because we're about ready to run rings around Captain Milala and her squads. Yellow Jack has been pressing their investigations into the treasures what was cloyed from that Maelstrom tub. But as you know, we've got our own network of coves, what don't miss naught of the goings on about town. As for the sharp end of the job, it'll be you, me, Underfoot, and the Stray. Let's get down to business, eh? The cab's late to the feast, so I'll just make sure we're all on the same page for the now. When you get down to it, we have two goals for this job. Bite back them three treasures, and mill the coves with cloyed them in the first place. You can be sure that the... You can be sure that that Yellow Jacket Shrew will be doing her damnedest to beat us to the marks. And seeing as the fate of the guild is at stake, we best not drag our dew beaters on this one. I say we grapple them baubles before she's even lifted anchor. We give her a proper reason to rage against us rogues. You seem awful keen on this. You seem awful keen on this contest all of a sudden, Jack. I well, here's the thing. I sent me a grievance to the Thalassocracy Thilo regarding the Strews challenge. But them paper shufflers don't care a whit as long as one of us gets the job done. So I figured I'd sail with the wind rather than against it. Besides, I wouldn't want to shir shirk our duties and force Captain Milala to blunder about in the scary darkmans now, would we? How very gentlemanly of you. Well, them's the cards what we've been dealt, ain't they? Now, slow your quips and let's hear what you've learned about them bloody treasures already. Aye, the treasures, according to the manifest of the Maelstrom vessel, 
A long look in the bite back, the cerulean star, the silver sorrows, and something called the black sarcophagus. Aside from the fancy names, I was able to whittle a few more details. The cerulean star, for starters, is a big old blue diamond which shines like, well, like a star, I suppose. Then we've got the silver sorrows, a pair of earrings what once graced the, wa the waddles of a sultana of Ulda. <gasps> There's a tale there, but one that what, but one what don't concern us at present. Lastly, this black sarcophagus thing. I'm afraid that that one remained a mystery, no matter how much I poked and prodded. In any case, all three of these trinkets was recorded as spoils from officially privateering raids. Now, as you know, pirate will usually sell his plunder through a reliable fence. Sometimes through holding an auction is the only way to offload goods what is too extravagant or too, just too bleeding rare for the average cult to deal in. Our three wondrous treasures fell into the auction only category. When the bidding began in Aleport, the Thalassocracy weighed in with its ample purse, made some unmatchable offers, and organized a tub for the merchandise to be shipped back to Limsa. And that's when Amark swooped in and picked the tra transport clean. I had a few wids with them, Maelstrom sailors, who survived the attack, and they pointed the finger at the grid and curse. Problem is, not one cold seen hide nor hair of the curs, as I mentioned their bloody ship since the raid. Sorry I'm late, Jack, but you want to hear this. Some of the cargo that was claimed from that transport was just found during a routine inspection at the Lothagrin checkpoint. Lothagrin? Have the curs made landfall then? And what are the treasures? Any mention of them? Not that I've heard. But the jackets ain't done shaking out all the boxes yet. Well, we better get eyes out there, quick like. Cosme, underfoot, you're fresh for a run, ain't ya? Sure. Come on, lass. I'll race you out to the checkpoint. That said, I discovered that there is a way to get um, Vekeb's outfit, or at least this, you know, the the uh, the top piece, um, without having to put in all the work of like getting the level 50 and getting a uh, high level like Weaver and stuff like that. It's not the exact same piece, um, but it's a an. Uh, a top that looks similar to hers so there is a way to get our hands on that but I do think that we have to get to like level 50 or not 50 like 30 um, if I remember right so let's see I need to go to middle Anasia But yeah, I wasn't actually initially aware that um, the outfit existed, um, you know, outside of the, uh, the level 50 weaver. And then again, you have to be level 50 even to wear it, so. I want to race. You owe me a pint, Cosme. It's a side, though. I skipped that. On accident, I hate my freaking fingers. Seriously, I keep clicking the mouse for some reason when I'm literally just resting my hand. From what I've been able to catch from them swads at the gate, it seems the peddler was boned for carrying goods what was known to be aboard that transport. And they carted the poor sod away in chains. The cargo itself is still here. I saw a pair of jackets carrying boxes up that wooden ramp. We need to know what's in them crates. Get the feeling they won't open, won't open their cans for the asking though. Now while well, this fool's challenge is going on, don't you think you could skulk over there and see if they've found them treasures yet? Um. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, do I have to go this way? I do. 
Yes. The Yellowjack soldiers are inspecting the cargo. Approach them all cloaked and attempt to listen on their progress. The old jackets are discussing the contents of the crates. No, that's, this is all junk. No diamond, no earrings, and no bloody black sarcophagus. Looks like we'll have to lean hard on that skinny peddler for to find them treasures. Sergeant says the merchant is still plead in ignorance. Claims he was hired to carry the goods to the checkpoint and not else. What a pile of shite. I'm guessing the pirates have split the cargo and are trying their luck at every checkpoint. Captain Milala has already given orders to double the guard and inspect every cart and wagon what comes through. There we go. Hmm, so they found not a value, eh? Benny, thought we'd lost the contest before we'd even properly started. Be, but be that as it may, Something don't add up here. Why would you order a call to carry the goods through the checkpoint? No smuggler is that daft, surely. And even if by some miracle of the gods you squirm through Lithogren without raising a fuss, why would you risk taking merchandise back to the city which you cleared it from? Now, there's a bigger picture here. We need to take a step back to see it. Assuming the curs hired, hired this peddler to do their dirty work, that would be someone in the shadows that's brokered the deal. And I just happen to know a cove what makes it his business to oversee these kinds of shady arrangements. Thing is, this black markety, marketeer bloke changes his haunts depending on how the breeze blows. Quite literally, in fact. I seem to recall the navigator's veil being shifted by westerly, by a westerly this morning. So that put him... Ah, at Tiller's Rest. Nice and close. I want to go ask him a few questions before we head back to the guild. And that is all the way up here, I think. Um, where is it? It is in the mist. I have no idea. Oh, it's all, all, yeah, it is. It's all the way up there. All the way up there. All right, here he is. I pride myself on my memory for faces, but yours is unknown to me. Are you an honest customer or an inquisitive annoyance? I must be sure of your intentions. Hi there. Feels so weird only having two attacks. And no ninjutsus. Also, it's just slightly annoying that Shade Shift has like a 120 second cooldown, but only lasts 20 seconds. <laughs> the dance is old, but the n name is new. Put away your daggers, rogue. I've paled my wares to your kind since the upright thieves stalked the night. Speak. What would you have of this humble merchant? Still tormenting the cults, eh, Granddad? Come for information on a smuggling job. <gasps> there was this peddler what was caught at the Lothagran checkpoint moving merchandise for the grid and curse. Pleaded in innocence. I pleaded innocence even when he had the, crews, the screws put to him. You wouldn't know all about the deal, would ya? Every last sort of detail. A single grain of stolen sand passes through the shadows without my knowledge. But such prickly wisdom lodges tightly in one's throat. What have you brought to ease the pain of its passage? Spare me the theatrics, granddad. Here's your usual purse. The sum is paid, the deal is made. May my answers sate your fickle hunger. Click, thank you. <laughs> your hapless peddler was indeed innocent. He was but a beast of burden employed by associates of the grinning curs, and likely, n likely knew not of his freight tainted nature. A pawn, if you will, convenience decoy. 
There are those amongst my acquaintances who specialize in providing such services. Aye, that's what I thought. The crows wanted that call to get caught. Now the jackets have had a taste, they'll waste their time yaffling every shite pie what comes through their checkpoints. Meanwhile, the real treasures are hidden away in the darkmans, along with the grin and curse. Not the darkmans, Master Rogue, the mist. Aside from the traveling merchant, the Curds Associated has been coin on another piece for this little game. The Navigator, one who has practiced in piloting a vessel to the Doxy's Pole. The Doxy's cats only know how many ships have sailed into that fog soup and never come out again. And that's where you say the Curds have gone to ground? Now there's a trick that took some bullocks. Once their hunted tub was sitting dimmer in the mist though, it would have been easy to have these associates of theirs ferry the junk goods to Lanasia. And then the canny coves just need to wait for the peddler to get bound and draw the glaze of the yellow jackets inland. We need to strike now. As soon as they learn the coast is clear, they'll flee for open waters. Fair appraisal of events. Now that you know the location of your marks, however, it will not be so difficult to track them down. And the Doxy's pole was once an impenetrable shroud. Ever since the calamity, the mists are far less constant. Now your search to the heaviest banks, and you'll soon uncover those who wish to remain unseen. By now, but now a warning: the mists conceal other dangers besides the dogs you seek. A careless step may land you upon the chopping block. The chopping block? You can't mean. Seems I found myself another lead to look into. You hurry on back to Jack. Tell him what we've learned so far. All right. Sounds like we are starting off on a positive note. Seems like we have found something out about these guys. Hopefully that means we'll be able to locate them and get our artifacts back. It would be nice for sure. Also, sorry, just turning on the air conditioner because it is 86 degrees in here, according to my air conditioner. It's entirely possible that the air conditioner is broken. Um, but it was like 98 degrees earlier. So, about time, Lass. You was gone so long I almost sent a stray after you. What happened to Underfoot? So, our marks in their bitten bobble the snug inside the Doxy's pull, eh? I'll not just count the old man's warning. We may not have a better chance to crash the to crash the curse and grabble them treasures. Aboard their ship right now, you, me, and Vicab. I suppose we'll be needing ourselves a tub for the voyage. I'll have wits with the Swarsons and see what the dry docks can spare us. But we have a ship and a reliable crew. Get your kid together and meet us there. I believe that's Morby Dry Docks. Yes, that is indeed Morby Dry Docks. Alrighty, figured I'd drop a quick pause there because I ran over and like set my home point and did a couple other things. Um, so, alright, Kazumi, I've pulled in some favors. There's a crew that'll get us close enough to scamper about the Curry's vessel. I'll be cramped. Uh, I'll be cramped up on that deck. If we try to mill the whole lot at once. We'll soon find ourselves up against the rails. So we go in quick and quiet and try to knock them off a few at a time. Well, Les, are you going to test your sea legs? Grinners in the mist.
All right. I think it's I think it's the same boat <laughs> that they use for like every single like boat instance, basically. All right, no one's seen it so far. Let's get to work. I'll sink me stabbers and the captain. Those two back there are yours. Tell me, Cosby. Well, all the bloody way out here. Gritting Kerr Slob and Gritting Kerr Carpenter. Captain Jack. Oh no, you found us. You shall never find what's left. You shall never find what's left of you. Gritting Kerr Captain. Great bastards, let's see just how quick you are. Open the cage, let the growler off his chain. And it's the growler. I think this is where, like, if I were doing some kind of editing, I would, like, cut down these battles a bit. Like, I, I would edit it down to, like, oh, look, this guy's dead, you know? And then, like, oh, look, here's some dialogue. And instead of, like, sitting here showing me just using the same attack 20 times, you know? But again, my computer is not great. Duty complete. Woo! Good job. Jack, I found me one of them treasures. Unless there's another fist sized blue diamond on board. It's gotta be the Cerulean Star. As for the mother two baubles, I've tossed the cabins and been through the hold ilm by ilm. But there's not else here. Well, we'll just have to ask all sweet like, won't we? Spit it out, Kerr. Where are you keeping the rest of your treasures? Ha! Ah, you think I'd spill me guts for the likes of you, rogue? Maybe you wouldn't, I thought. What about this partner you're working with? Well, I'll do it. We don't need no partner. So you're telling me this was all your own idea? You woke up one day and decided you'd attack a maelstrom transport right off the coast of Aleport, then disappeared into the love and embrace of the Doxies pole. Not exactly your style, is it? The green cards are too bleeding famous for being the crew what turned their snouts up at privateering in favor of keeping to the old ways. You've only escaped the Yellow Jacket script this long by crawling on your bellies and snatching scraps what fell from the table. You ain't the type to sink your teeth into a navy owned vessel, no matter the prize. Aye, well, maybe there ain't no profit in being cautious no more. The age of pirates is swift, swift coming to an end. Merlewood won't be stopped. Not by a piddling little crew like mine. That's why we throw an our lot in with the executioners. And the blue rock was just our share of the loot. The scraps from the table, like you said. If you want them other trinkets, then you'll have to take it up with our new mates. One job at a time, lass. First we need to get these stinking coves in their tub back to the docks. Yay!
Well, now we know that the bloody executioners are the ones behind everything. Putting aside the issue of who gave the orders. There's no doubt that these was the coves that raised the, that maelstrom ship. Now for punishment that fits the crime. I was informed that a certain <coughs> well-known pirate ship was spotted weighing anchor at the Morby Dry Docks. I assume that this was your work. <coughs> I, you missed all the excitement, Captain. But never you mind, the Cerulean Star is back and Bob and our sneaky little fambles. Hmm. And these must be the grin and curs. Degenerate fiends, how dare you ply your filthy trade in limbs and waters? How many innocent sailors were massacred that you might sate your vile Everest? Every one of your kind ought to be lined up and shot. A musket ball is the only answer for this rampant display of lawlessness. Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean to just execute him here on the bloody docks? At least take the buggers un into custody first. Hand them over to you hand them over to you for lawful punishment will satisfy the demands of the code just as well. I've already got the answers to our questions, so feel free to take them away. Do not presume to give me orders, rogue. You only managed to capture these villains and their ill gotten treasure by un by employing unsavory and unconscionable means. Why you're not more than pirates yourselves. These bastards ain't worth a true pirate spit. Now, bright thieves was formed to protect us from ourselves. Now they're just hunting dogs for the admiral. Merlo yanks the leash and, uh, and another buccaneer disappears. Rogues are traitors to your own kind, if it hadn't been for you. I Go on, then. Blame me for Miko. Blame me and Miko's for your own failures. You know what you was about? You know what you was about when you defied the code? We knew that we'd be after you. We're done here. There's still two treasures left, Rogue, and I mean to claim them both. I'd reconsider this contest of yours, Captain. Turns out this fish we're trying to hook is a shark. It might just swallow you whole. Alright. Let's head back to Limsa and talk to Jack at the Rogues Guild. And wow, this was actually already a half hour episode just on the Rogues side. So maybe... I don't remember how long the Arcanist one is, so I might have to just split that up. I don't know, I'll think about it. You're looking ahead inside, always. I think part of it is co these constant loading screens that we have to go through to get in here. Any work on that ship, Cosme. First blood is ours. How'd you take to fight in the sea? There are few as can drop an opponent as quick as a rogue. But mind you don't exhaust yourself just flailing your blades at the tougher coves. And that goes double for when you've mates on your flanks. If you notice yourself starting to flag, there's not wrong with pulling back from time to time and staggering your attacks with each other to keep the pressure on. Said the four last, but I'll need you sharp enough to carve steel for what's to come. I'm afraid this will be more of a challenge than even what that little shrew was bargaining for. That's assuming the curse wasn't lying about the executioners. And the executioners are who I bloody think they are. Twixt you and me, though, I'm ho hoping the name is just some laughable coincidence. It is not, Jack, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is not. <laughs> It very much is not. Alright, Iron Daggers. Now we got our daggers all upgraded. Now we can head on over to the Arcana Guild and uh, work on 
that, so that should be nice. Um, yeah, I think since we're already at half an hour, I think I will just pick up the Arcanist quest and do that next episode. Um, so I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. You can check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episodes you missed. There's also a link to my Patreon down there as well. It really does help the channel a lot. And with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later.